I don't know where it came from, but I always loved sports. And then skiing uh, was always number one. Uh, and I guess that was because of my father, because he loved skiing. All the coaches I have had up over the years, and um, my first coach or coaches were definitely my family. So uh, already from I was you know seven, eight, things started to get quite serious actually, you know. And he wanted me to improve all the skills I needed in all different kinds of sports, you know, balance, coordination, speed, jumping ability, aerobic condition, all those kind of things. So I, I, I remember I took 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, and the, the 12 most important yoga exercises every day. And my father, he used to go on the balcony when the neighbors walked by, and he looked down and he said, if you don't take 100 push-ups, you don't get dinner. Well, I mean, I maybe you shouldn't uh, say this because I will make his head big, but like uh, Almot is definitely uh, like one of my idols. He was when I was growing up. And uh, for the first time in, when I was a kid, I was just cheering on because he was Norwegian and he was doing well. Like, he was winning. And, you know, I mean, as a little Norwegian kid skiing, you like that. You like to see another guy, you know, same country and doing well. I'm uh, proud to ski for, for my country. I'm, uh, I think. I mean, I think I was also lucky and fortunate to grow up in Norway. It's a good country. There's a the strong ski history in Norway. There's, um, I mean, it's ski jumping and cross country and like there's all parts of it, but. Um, Ski, skis and skiing, it's a strong part of the Norwegian tradition. You just have to, to trust that you have trained enough, that you're strong enough, that your technique holds up, that, you're, uh, that your equipment is good enough. The equipment should help you, help you be the fastest in the world and help your technique, like to, for you to ski the most efficient way. Um, equipment is, without good equipment, you're not going to win. You know, we always had discussions, what can be faster, what can we do? Uh, and we, we brought that on to the Phoenix staff, and every year they come up with better ideas, greater ideas. Before Phoenix came in, we hardly had any medals. After Phoenix came in, we won more than 60 medals in the World Championship Olympic Games for the last 20 years, so that says it all, I guess. The World Championships Olympic Games, that's where I won my biggest races. Uh, the greatest feeling I've ever had fin crossing a finish line was in the slalom event. I was 21 years old at that time. I had a lead after the first run and I managed to cope with the pressure. And, you know, when I crossed the line and I saw number one, uh, you know, on the finish board, that moment was the greatest moment, the greatest feeling ever. There will always be danger, but uh, when danger makes you really scared, it's when you don't really know how to deal with it. I was the kind of guy who, if I knew I, now I do have a chance to win uh, something major, something important, then I was willing to take this, that little extra risk and maybe you know, put my life on the line to win. I um, crashed big in uh, Beaver Creek in Colorado in 2007. Um, had, uh, yeah multiple inter injuries, I guess, and I was lucky. Like, now I'm 100% and uh, it's all history then. I always knew my biggest challenge would be retiring, actually, because I was so into the sport, I still love the sport. So um, it was very satisfying to, to, to manage to win that Olympic gold medal, to, to, to finish my career on a high note. You have to train at being a normal person, you have to train at being a good dad, and the same with skiing, it sucks in the beginning because you're bad at it. But then when you start to be good and doing things better, it's more fun. So now I'm really enjoying the normal life. There's always challenges, like um, the hills are, I mean, how can you be faster on the, on the hills? Uh, or how can you be faster on anything? Um, and you always, I mean, it's racing. Your challenge is always to be faster than the rest of the, the starting grid. But when it's your day, you're just going to grab it. When people ask me when I was winning all those medals through the years, which one is the best, I always said the next one is the best one. Mm -hmm.